Do you, I thought in the, yeah, I thought, what are you, like, how do I find out what side? I'm used to like, I guess a tire ironer, yeah, the the thing that's like an X. Is, well, that, is that the tire iron? Well, you're going to have your Because I've seen my dad use it. It's like, yeah, it's like this and yeah, exactly. You just like. Yeah, it's tire iron. Yeah. Why is it called tire those, iron? Um, those cars really don't come with them anymore. Is this my size? Yeah, 19. How to find the size, you take the socket out and go. <laughs> you just check them all? Well, you get, you, after a while, you get used to it and see it, but you want to get it on there to where it's a good snug fit. Because if it's a little, because you try to put a metric on there, it's not going to uh, work too well. See how much looser that is? What is that? Oh, a metric. Yeah, see, well, get a grip on there. Feel how loose that is? Yeah. If you try to put too much uh, weight or whatever on there, it's going to knock these corners off and round it off. Then you're screwed. Yeah. At 19. It'll strip it. 19 is pretty secure. See how much tighter that is? Yeah. So, now when you go to put it back on, we're not really going to use this. Well, we will snug it up, but then we'll take the torque wrench out. So then I take this thing and just do that to all the tires. Well, that's what I'm going to do first. So why is it better to do that like after just cranking it just a little bit with the jack? Because if you get the tire all the way off the ground, well you can use one of these. So like you mean it's like going to have traction or whatever on yeah. the ground so it'll be easier? Yeah. Now since you're cheating with an impact, you can do it off the ground. If you're using a breaker bar and a socket, you're going to sit there and try to do it and the whole thing starts turning. So then you're fighting the tire. So and you're saying if I use like basically a power drill to take off the lug nuts and it doesn't matter if the tire, if the car is off the ground or not. No, because it, this is going to have so much torque on it that it's going to crack the lug nut before the tire has a chance to really spin anywhere. Lost me. <laughs> Jack it up off the ground. It's, I thought you just, like, I thought it's not going to work because the tire is going to spin or something like that. That's what I'm going to show you. How much? How much? Off the ground. <laughs> uh, I always worried that like I didn't put the jack in the right place. Well, if all of a sudden you hear a boom and this thing falls, you know it's in the wrong spot. Isn't that bad for your car? Yes, it is. Uh. You're fine. Keep jacking. <laughs> I love my psychopathic mobile. I do not want to ruin it. Or drop it. <laughs> Going. Really? Going. I don't feel like confident in where I put the jack, dude. Yeah, the jacking point. Jacking. All right, fine. Yeah. All right. Ugh. See that? Yeah, spinning. Yeah. Now, if you were to have a breaker bar on there and try to break it, all it's going to do is spin the whole tire. Spinning, and you're not going to get anywhere. So when your tires are on the ground, let's see. With that, it doesn't matter. You want to keep lugging this on. You do want to keep lugging on. At least until you get the jack stands in place. Alright, like I said, I totally forgot. I thought there's like a little hook here or something. Yeah, there's a lip right there. That's what you uh, I see. Oh, you gotta I'm gonna have to jack it. Yeah. Yep. Arr. Good for you, you're learning. <laughs> Dude. Keep going. I know, it's just the jack keeps like sliding a little bit each time. You going? That might be as much as it goes or... Because of the uh, angle I'm at in the... How did we do it last time? 
Maybe I should like uh, pull the car down lower. Or... See what I'm saying? Because we're like at an angle. No, it can't be as far as it goes, is it? You keep trying. Like I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know what we did last time. That's why I think maybe I should maybe I should reverse the car more or pull it up more. No, it's fine where it's at. Um Boy, you just got a text message. Put it back down. I'll put a piece of wood under the jack. Mmm. I kinda of forgot how to like do I turn it the other way? Something like that? Uh, how does one put it down? Where's that other jack at over there? Uh, yeah, hold on. Ah. Let me check the other side. really don't think it has anything to do with the elevation. No, because that's the same spot we were last time when we jacked the car up. Uh, was I or was I pulled up more? No, yeah, it's about right here. The driveway's pretty, I mean, yeah, it's at an angle, but yeah. it's a flat angle. Cause, so well, because every time I pump the jack, like the jack itself, yeah, it was sliding back. Yeah, that's what it does. Mm. Because as it lifts up, that jack's going to move underneath it. Okay, okay, got it. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why the car is Oh, I definitely say try backing up the car. To where? Like to just like the end of the driveway at least. That's gonna change what? I don't know, I feel like nothing. He would. <laughs> it has to be the angle of the driveway. No, it's not the like angle of the driveway. Up too high. Why is it? My god, my jack's starting up to go to shit. Be careful. Was it in the wrong spot? No, no, that's fine. I just kind of... Yeah, no, I'm going to get a little bit different. Do other jacks go up higher or something? Some do. Or is the e-brake being on have anything to do with it? I don't know. You know, like your brakes just keeping it from rolling. Like through the back tires or what? Yeah. 
because that's all the e-brake does is locks up the back. Right, try to see if you can get it. Knock that one down all the way. Pull the lever up. Like that. Uh, Fit. Like, I don't exactly remember perfectly where it goes. Like, does it go with this this thing? That one I think you have to tilt, like get in sideways. Yeah. I think that's what we did last time, something like that. And then maybe, yeah, is that one dropped all the way down? Yeah, it's all the way down. I just don't know how the hell we got it. It's dropped all the way down for sure? Huh. So I'm trying to figure out how the hell... Yeah, how's this one coming in just fine? Like, this one has plenty of space, too. There we go. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure... It's leaning more this way than it is that way, so... I would love if you would, uh... Check my positioning. Or, like... Yeah, I'm not really... 100% certain. More back? You want it that piece is sticking down? Yeah. You want it on that. That's your should be all right. No, just leave it like that. You're not gonna be able to get it any higher. So like I'm not sure if mine's lined up right. Don't know. Okay. Hey, where hey. do you want to stand up? Huh? Where do you stand up? Yeah. Um, just take the top part. This part? Okay, just lift up and make sure it's going to go straight into that groove right there. Drop it. Careful. How's it looking? Is it sitting in the in those rails? Yeah. Wanna triple check my work? <laughs> Is it well, are, are that's, we Are we okay? Yeah, that spot right here. What spot? Where you put that on? Yeah. That's reinforced to that's specifically made for that, that little lip? Uh -huh. That's where you put your jack from your trunk. Mm. Mm. And then I'm going to learn how to pump it from the back? Yep. So is there like another arrow in the back underneath the car? Not find out. <laughs> Should be. 